All right, everybody, we're hopping into the 200% showcase for LRSTR Gogeta Blue. We're going to be hopping directly into the showcase this time. I just wanted to show you guys the build before we hop in. Uh, this is just what I built him years ago. We got 21 additional 8 crit and 3 dodge. This is the build I gave him whenever he first came out. Uh, I definitely did not change to have 3 dodge right before this started. Uh, links are at full level 10 here as you can see this guy has a pretty good link set We will go over the breakdown and all the information at the end of the video in this one I'm gonna try out something a little bit different here. So this is the team build we got. Let's go ahead and hop in all right, so we're hopping in here on um, the gods, 200% team for Gogeta. Gogeta is on power beyond Super Saiyan since he goes blue and he does a Kamehameha, so he's on Kamehameha. Here we go, we're on the team. So, the strength of Gogeta Blue here is that we can float him off on this first turn. That may seem a little odd because this is his showcase. You know, you may be wondering, why are you floating him off? He's the showcase character. And it's like, well, uh, you'll see. <laughs> uh, but the issue is, uh, this guy transforms on turn 4, and he does get a 70% um, chance to dodge in his base form in slot 3. So this is kind of the intended use, right? You get him on turn 1. He's not super crazy. You put him in this slot right here. You know, he only has a few links active at the moment. That's okay. We do have support here from Piccolo. Uh, I am going to try to manipulate these orbs a little bit, see if I can get the blue ones. Uh, not really too concerned about Piccolo super attacking. We're going to get the gods some stacks, and yeah, we can grab Gogeta these orbs right here. Okay, perfect. So, um, a little bit of support here, a few links active. Uh, probably the character we're gonna have to watch the most on the team is the yellow. Oh, I brought Tech God Goku on here, didn't I? So I was gonna go into a different stage, and I brought Tech God Goku, uh, thinking I was gonna go into a movie boss. So actually, we're gonna have to watch him, but uh, he should be fine. I uh, I am not too concerned about him here. Um, he he could get caught, but as long as we give him a good number of orbs, he should be okay. Um, just as long as he's not getting super attacked. Okay, so Gogeta opens up with a 6.1 million attack stat. Uh, I believe he has like a 70% chance to do a second one. Again, I haven't looked at his details uh, today. Yeah, so there's the second one. Or maybe it's guaranteed in the third slot. That's nice. And then mine is built full additional, so we could get a third here. Keep in mind, we are stacking his attack. We got it, but we got the additional normal instead of the super. And then there's the dodge. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to be moving on through here. Um, I do want this Vegeta to get hit, but I don't want to burn his support super early. So we're going to do this right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the gods some stacks. Very important that we uh, treat the gods with care here. You know, we are doing a showcase for Gogeta, but we are in red zone. So we do need to be a, a little bit careful here. Uh, overall, I am uh, very, very happy with this Gogeta Blue EZA. I don't think we could have asked for more. I think a lot of the times whenever I used to do concepts for this guy back in the day, maybe even on Reddit, I don't remember, but, you know, I used to just say, you know, why doesn't he stack defense in his base form, you know? I was just like, you know, he should be getting defense on his super attack in his base form, because that was always the weakest thing to me, right? It's like, oh, if you make it to turn four, and then, you know, and then we got to a point where I was like, yeah, okay, even if you do make it to turn four, they're not that crazy, but it was kind of always an issue of like, okay, you know, making it to turn four for them to transform is a little bit tough, um, you know, if they just had a little bit of extra defensive viability in their base form, they would be a lot better. You know, and I, I mean, we did, we got that, you know, we didn't get stacking, but we did get a one turn defensive raise on super attack, which definitely helped a lot, along with just the general stat boost, uh, you know, they like doubled their start of turn buff instead of 70%, they're at 140, that definitely just helps out a ton. Uh, Vegeta getting super attack there is fine. But yeah, I, I am, uh, I'm very happy with this, with this guy's EZA. Again, I think it just accurately represents Gogeta in the movie. I mean, just very powerful, very hype. I would say that this is probably, like, the second most hype unit ever in Dokkan, probably. I don't know, if you guys think that there's a more hype unit, let me know. But I, I think it's, or if there's a different, I, so I think number one is probably the seventh anniversary LRs. I think they're the most hype. So I would say this guy is probably number two. And for some people, this is probably number one, is this guy specifically. I know people really like the Broly movie. I mean, me included, right? Like, whenever I found out that it was like, it's going to be Gogeta versus Broly, I was like, all right. All right, let's see what they got. And uh, that was, you know, that was a fun movie. Uh, just the animation style was really good. You know, I, it's sad that they did God Vegeta kind of dirty in this game. But, uh, you know, he's uh, he's really good in the movie. So, I, 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 canonically, he's pretty good in the movie. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> there is that. I think it's... Oh, there we go. Uh, well, I guess we don't need to... It, he, it's nothing voiced here. This is another thing. We could definitely get another just standalone Gogeta Blue with his intro being him going blue, right? Like, I mean, he doesn't really say anything in the movie, right? But, I mean, you, you guys get the point. So, all right. So, now that Gogeta Blue is blue, 
uh, starter turn defense is a little low there, but he gets a ton on super attack, so... Uh, he does build up. We want to keep him in slot uh, 1 and 2. He's going to build up... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. What Does he build up anything in the first or second attack? No, he just gets those additional chances. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, no, not the cord. Give me a second. All right, it's really tiny. Uh, we, we got the cord fixed, but uh, yeah, right there. He, j he just gets some additional chances in slots one or two. For some reason, I thought he built up his attack and defense only in slot one or two, but uh, I must be misremembering that. So here's the downside is that he does lose prepared for battle. Um, you know, for like Super Saiyan or Warrior Gods, one of the two he loses for, uh, or he loses prepared for battle for one of those two. Uh, but he does get, what is it, seven key when launching an attack. So, uh, no, five key when launching an attack. Wait. No, I'm sorry. He gets key plus five at the start of turn, seven key when launching an attack. Goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Maybe I should just pull him up and read. Huh? Maybe, maybe I should do that. <laughs> this is why I usually go over his details at the beginning, so, so I know. It's not for you guys. No, okay, so key plus five, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in the turn. Sorry about that, I think the cord is all good. Now, for you guys, that's going to seem like such a jarring change in what I was just talking about, but I had a small cord issue. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we should be all good now. Um, I, I have his details pulled up so I know what he's doing. I have my cheat sheet up, so. Um, I was actually correct, though, in base. Um, I'm sorry, not in base, but before he EZAs, uh, the attack and defense, the extra attack and defense buildup that he has right here, you can see it right here, that only activated in slot 1 and 2 before his EZA. Now he gets it in any slot, and it's key plus 1 up to 5, and attack and defense plus 22% up to 88%. That is his main multiplicative buff, so we're going to see his start of turn defense numbers going up as we um, attack. Luckily, it does just build up with attacks, and this guy is going to do 3 guaranteed here, which means, he, and he's probably going to do the 4th as well. Uh, the more attacks you do, the more chances you have to roll your hidden potential attack, which, you know, is good, right, for this guy. So we'll, we should have his full 88% built up after this turn. I'm going to be greedy and leave the gods on rotation. And then this guy is also getting 50% defense on his super attack effect. So that is pretty good. He's going to be at a decent defensive level here. Uh, not spectacular, but, you know, decent. Uh, we'll grab this. We're going to save Vegeta's support as well. I could have left Vegeta on rotation, and we would have gotten his support up, but uh, we're going to save it. So 5.5 here. We're only getting the 12 key, but again, we're going to build up key a lot on this turn. Uh, so yeah, there's a normal. Each of these normals could have been a super attack. They have a medium chance. It's a 30% chance. And then there's the hidden potential system. So we do have all four of his attacks done to build up that extra 88% multiplicative buff in his passive. Um, you know, maybe I trusted it. Okay, we're getting all... Oh, that's right. He has guaranteed dodge um, in his first turn in blue. That's what we were saying. I was like, man, we're getting really lucky with the three dodge. But no, he, uh, he guaranteed dodges on this first turn. So uh, we were, you know, guaranteed to dodge everything there. So that was nice. That was a nice play by me to remember that. The most important thing that he does. I definitely remembered. I did not forget that he does that. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. I, my brain is made of, like, mushroom pea risotto. Like, I don't know. All right, uh, we're going to float off this guy. We're going to leave this guy in rotation. We should be fine here. We don't really need guard, per se. We'll grab all of these orbs with the gods. We can just keep getting them stacked up a little bit, and then we'll grab that. Hopefully, as long as that tech god go... Can we seal this guy? No, but we can stun him, right? Oh, we don't have any stunners, but... Uh, I don't think... Does tech... Maybe SDR Piccolos. No, he seals. Uh, yeah, you can do, like, weird things to the cell throughout the entire fight, which is one of the reasons why, like, the Ginyu Force team is actually really good for this fight, is because Raccoon and Goldo just bully this guy throughout the entire fight, so, you know. <laughs> this cell fight is good for showcases, though, because he doesn't, I don't think he does any debuffs or anything, and he does hit decently hard, um... The fight's kind of long. I, I like using this one as showcases. This one and the Frieza fight are my two favorite. The only thing I don't like about the Frieza fight is the AoE phase. I get, actually, no, I don't know. I do like the Frieza fight. What am I saying? Um, the Shadow Dragon fight, that's what I'm thinking about because a few of the enemies in there can debuff. So it makes it annoying to do showcases. You know, you go into a state. Oh, this is really bad. I think we die here. Uh, if we die, we'll just come back with another turn of Gogeta Blue, but... 
Yeah, we're dead. Uh, I'll take God Goku off the team because I mistakenly brought him anyway. We'll come back with Gogeta Blue on rotation. All right, we're back here on turn four with Gogeta. We're doing great here now. Somebody, I'm sure, has pointed it out, but uh, I did forget to bring AGL Gogeta, the, uh, the TUR. But listen, we'll be fine. Um... We have plenty of other units here to get this guy's god links active with, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, speaking of god, we're going to throw a uh, physical god Goku here into slot one, I think. What do I want to do here? Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, the nice thing is that this guy has over and a flash, so th this is actually kind of what I wanted to do, is get these guys linked together. They share four links, but it is four important links. Super Saiyan Warrior Gods, over and a flash, and Fierce Battle. Uh, which is, you know, really good for this guy. Uh, getting over in a flash active is going to be really helpful. Uh, we get 5 key on attack, so this will get us our 18 key. Um, he does greatly raise attack and defense. Or, I'm sorry, he does, he just great. So, blah, 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 blah. On his 18 key, he greatly raises defense for 3 turns, which is good. That gives him a little bit of a stack that kind of builds up. As long as you keep him supering on his 18 key for those turns. Uh, well, basically every turn. And then... His 12 key also greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, but it's only one turn. The 18 key, that stack will carry over to your next turn. The 12 key will not, so... Okay, so we're gonna do one attack there. This is a normal, that's guaranteed. That's a guaranteed... The, each of those could have been super attacks, and then this is the hidden potential. So that second attack, it kind of just didn't play the animation for it. That's just kind of a glitch. Um, but yeah, we got four attacks there, so his 88% is fully built up now. Again, these are all guaranteed dodges on his first turn. So... Uh, we got his full 88% built up, uh, we have his 50% stack, so next turn he will be pretty much fully built up defensively, and then if we can get Vegeta's support here, he will be, um, even, like, we'll basically see his next turn, or we'll see his, like, best turn next turn, which will be good because we're gonna be going up against a, uh, AGL enemy in the AGL, uh, perfect form cell. So that, I mean, this guy, I mean, he looked good, right? He did some good numbers there. <laughs> Those were all uh, super effective against all types, by the way. <laughs> Actually, was he a... No, he wasn't at 24 key, was he? But if he gets to 24 key, they are guaranteed crits. <laughs> it's guaranteed super effective against all types in slots 1 or 2. But if he gets to 24 key in any of the slots, it's guaranteed crits on him. So, uh, pretty good. This guy is, uh, is very, very good. If you're wondering how to build him in the hidden potential system, I would definitely say additional for this guy is the way to go. Um, he's going to be doing a lot of attacks. Uh, but they're not really guaranteed to be super attacks, so you want to try to proc that him potential chance as much as possible. And if he's doing guaranteed crits, right, because getting him to 24 key shouldn't be too terribly difficult if you've got a good partner next to him. Um, so then he's going to be getting guaranteed crits for free, like why would you give him more crit, right? Alright, we're going to keep the gods untransformed as long as we can, so this is going to be really good here. So Gogeta, he has his full, uh, what is it, well he doesn't have his full key, but he has 4 out of his 5 key built up. He has his full 88% from his passive built up, and we do have one stack in his defense, and we are at 456k defense here. Now, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of quick math, and I'm going to come right back. Alright, I busted out the calculator in order to show you guys how we're getting to his defense here. So, this is his base defensive stat, 11,175, right? We're on a 200% leader for the LR gods, so we multiply that by 5. Our start of turn buff is 150%, so we multiply this by 2.5. Um, we're getting 88% built up from our passive right here. Okay, so we see that 1.88. And then the extra 0.3 is actually from Vegeta's extra 30% support. So that's a multiplicative support buff. Most support falls into this line. It would be additive here. But for Vegeta's support, it's add additive here. So this is the line that it's actually going into. And then we got a 50% attack buff that carried over to this turn from last turn on his 18 key. And so this is what we see right here, 456, 778. Again, mine is a little bit off because Dokkan rounds everything down and Excel right now is rounding everything up. So, but uh, we're pretty close. You can see we're only literally three off. Like, 456, 778, and he's at 456, 775. Now, the reason I did this is to show you what his defense is going to be after he super attacks. Some people would think that it's just going to be a direct 50% increase of this, but it's not going to be. It's actually, since this 50% um, carried over from the last turn, um, we have to increase our super attack multiplier. Like, we, we have to... How do I explain this? So, this number is this times 1.5. That 50% carried over. These additional 50%, should we get these, would add into that original 50%. So, 
if we just did this times 1.5, that would essentially making the mul that would make the super attacks multiplicative. So, but that's not what's happening. Uh, the super attack effects are additive with each other. I've talked about this before. Um, for this unit, let's think about three buckets, right? We have our start of turn bucket, we have our multiplicative attack bucket, and then, or well, our just multiplicative buff bucket, and then we have our um, uh, super attack effect bucket, right? This this is our super attack effect bucket. This is our passive multiplicative bucket, and then this is our um, start of turn passive bucket. Okay, so we've got one. We've got one bucket here. Let's go ahead. Can I? Uh, give, uh, where's my highlighter? Well, okay, here. Let's let's make this a color. Uh, okay, so that's one bucket, right? Uh, this is another bucket. Let's make it like green, and then this is a bucket essentially. We'll do this. All right, this is a bucket. Listen, we're we're, we're doing so. I, I've been asked before to show how the math works. So think about it like this: these are the buckets, okay? And, and we, if you're in a separate bucket, you get multiplied. If you're in the same bucket, you get added, okay? So that's why Vegeta support is in the same bucket as the 88% buildup from the passive. So that's why this is right here, right? They are together, they're in the same bucket. The start of turn is in its own bucket. Uh, since these are separate, we multiplied these together, right? So that's why that's happening. And then the super attack effect itself is in a separate bucket. And again, those add together. So that's why we see this goes to times 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, and 3.5 is uh, Gogeta Blue gets 50% on each super attack. Technically, we've already done one. I'm saying that in quotes, right? We've already done one super attack. So technically, this, even though I say post one super attack, because it'll be one super attack on this turn, um, this is technically post two super attacks because one of them will always carry over. So this is like... I'm going to call this SA0, right? Like, uh, well, let's put that in quotes as well, so people kind of... So th this, we have not super attacked on this turn, but we have a phantom super attack right here that is existing, okay? So this is SA0. It's it's carried over from the previous turn. Um, technically, this one will carry over to the next turn because we're going to get the 18 key here, right? And so, but they, they add together. So essentially we're getting a 100% multiplicative buff to this number right here if we do one super attack, and then 150% multiplicative buff to this number, and so on and so forth. So our max defense that we could get on this turn if we got perfect RNG would be 1,065,000 defense. It, again, this is perfect RNG. In order for this to happen, we need this super to go off, which is guaranteed. We need this one to go off, which would be a 30% chance. This one to go off, which would be a another 30% chance, which on its own is really low. That's like 0.3 times. I don't even know if this will th show up here, but this this is what it would be. Uh, can I get this to show up? Yeah, I, I, I don't have the decimal set up. Uh, increased decimal place, yeah. So it's a 9% chance to get both of those to be super attacks, right? And then that's not even counting the fourth one, which is the hidden potential, which we are pretty likely to proc. Um, getting into the exact math for that is a little bit more complicated. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're asking a lot here to um, to get all four super attacks. But even if he just does two, we're going to be at 761k defense, which is pretty good. So uh, let's get back over to the actual showcase now. I just wanted to have a quick math lesson. I've been asked before to show how um, the numbers are calculated. So I figured I would go ahead and do that here. Um, if you appreciated that or if you like that, let me know. If you don't want me to ever do that again, let me know. It, it won't offend me. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the showcase here. I just want, again, quick math lesson to show you um, what is going on here exactly. Ooh, this is a little bit unfortunate with the orbs, I just realized. Uh, my Goku is a full dodge build. We will trust in him. Yeah, I mean, we have to. I, I just realized how bad the orbs are on this turn. Um, we'll grab these. And we're at full HP. If Cell opens with a super attack and we don't dodge it, that's going to be really bad. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay, he does. Do we dodge? No, we don't. Oh, goodness. Do we, I think we just die here. Okay, no, we lived. God Goku is just that guy. Okay, good. Whew. After he super attacks, he's fine. But um, before he supers, it's, it's a little spooky here. Um, Gogeta Blue should be fine against normals, but this cell can actually double super. Um, and if we don't dodge that, which we, we don't, the only dodge chance we have here in slot 2 is my dodge chance. Uh, that, that 3 dodge. 17 million super effective against all types is, uh, pretty good though. I, I, will say that for free. Now he has his full key built up. Okay, there's a crit. That's pretty good. 
That's a normal. Yep, see, getting those normals to go off is... Uh, that's... This is one reason why I do like Vegito Blue better, and then there's the hidden potential system. Nice. One reason I do like Vegito Blue better is uh, his consistency with the super attacks. I'll probably run him in this exact stage. Yeah, I think we're dead. Uh, we only got two super attacks where our HP is too low. I think we're dead here. Yeah. If God Goku, if we had gotten better orbs, we would have lived. Uh, we'll, we'll hop back one more time um, later into the fight. All right, we're back up against AGL Cell. Sorry, what else? I kind of cut myself off. If the orbs were actually good, like they are on this turn, then we would have been fine because God Goku has his guard, his dodge. That's one of the only few times that uh, God Goku has actually failed me like that. That's why That's why I gave mine full dodge, though, was for situations like that. I mean, that was our only shot, right, was that Goku um, does that. So... Oh, I forgot to show Gogeta's defense. Uh, we are fully built up in terms of his passive. Uh, well, except for the key. You know, we're missing one key. But uh, his attack and defense is fully built up on this turn. So we're pretty much in the exact same situation we were last time. Except Vegeta's support is not up. But we do have Piccolo's support. So remember how I was talking about those buckets earlier? Uh, Piccolo's support affects Gogeta in um, the start of turn slot. So his support is not quite as potent. But it is uh, still pretty good. All right, there we go. See, he redeems himself. He's all good, right? No issues with God Goku. Beautiful unit. Look at him go. Uh, now, we did have to use an item uh, last turn because the turn before... Uh, what turn would that be? This is turn six, right? So that would have been turn four? No. Yes. Turn four, um, the gods got hit with a super attack and uh, it took like 560k or something. So, uh, also, go cheat. Gogeta, you're doing pretty good here. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's what I want to see. <laughs> but uh, the, the gods got hit with the supers, so uh, th this one right here, this friend that's in blue. I even transformed them, and they uh, they still they still kind of sold me. All right, so we know that this first attack is a super attack, most likely. How many rainbow orbs do we have here? Not very many. Um, this Vegeta has not been hit at all this entire fight, by the way, and uh, his guard is gone now. <laughs> So, that's interesting. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do this. We're gonna trust my gods. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on the skip. We don't we don't need to see this. The only active skill we need to see is Gogeta's. And w listen, we're gonna get that in this video one way or another. Okay, they have a 54 no, 44. They have a 44 percent chance to dodge right here. Surely, 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 Templey, they will. <laughs> Come on. Please, please dodge. This is a 1 million at super attack. Please dodge. Please, please. Guys, okay, thank you. Goodness, that's mine. Of course mine dodges. They have 3 dodge. That was the 3 dodge that activated, not their, uh, not their 44% passive chance from getting 2 rainbow key spheres. There we go. Lovely. Okay, I am very scared about this Vegeta. <laughs> we can't transform because he needs to get hit 6 times to transform. Uh, but now we can't really get hit because he, uh, has no defense. So we're in, a, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Also, we just canceled all of Cell's attacks on this turn. <laughs> we dodged the first attack, and then we canceled the other two. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, Gogeta Blue is going to mop this Cell next turn. And when I say mop, I mean, uh, like, disgustingly mop. We can use the active skill. I kind of want to save it. So we are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it. We're going to hope that we can get it against STR Cell. We're gonna we're gonna pray, okay? Everybody, you know, on your knees right now, say a prayer that I I didn't just miss our only opportunity to use uh, the active skill in the showcase. I don't think we did, but maybe we did, okay? Uh, <laughs> you know, there's always a chance. So if if we did just burn it, I'll hop back in again, but I'll just show you guys the active skill because getting it again shouldn't be too hard. I do want to get these videos out at some point. I've been recording them for a while. You know, I, I got the EZA videos up. Doesn't look like anybody's really watching those. I'm hoping that uh, you're just using using the units yourself. I've also posted, like, three other videos today, so no notifications probably went out. So, I, I, I get it, right? It's all good. You know, we, we got showcases. We got this 200% showcase coming out. I mean, he looks great. I mean, <laughs> is that bad? Is that good or bad? Well, you guys tell me. Was that, was that good or bad right there? All right, this is where things are spooky. We don't know where the super attack is. I'm gonna do this. No, I can't. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I cannot get the orbs the way that I want them. Because if I drop these two, it'll just... It, it won't... I need to move... That red orb is in a really bad spot. 
Uh, let's do... Man, because they're only, they're only going to be able to get, like, one orb. But I want their 18 key to do the attack break. Uh, it doesn't really matter if Piccolo supers. Piccolo's fine. Man, this is a little spooky. I'm going to cut and come back once I've decided what I'm doing. All right, this is what we went with right here. Uh, I just, we, we, we have to trust that Vegeta's not just going to get one-shotted. <laughs> That's about all we can do right here. All right. Cell, if you want to... Oh, that's really bad. If he supers Vegeta, we're done, and I'll just cut immediately, and we'll come back. I mean, this is just really unfortunate, where Vegeta just could not get hit. Yeah, uh, okay, we lived. <laughs> now we just need the gods to dodge everything. <laughs> it's that easy. We, we just need them to dodge everything, and also do, like, approximately half of Cell's health bar. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty pog. That'd be pretty, pretty pog money. <laughs> Please? <laughs> I beg of thee to do about half the health bar here. Uh, no. Okay, we got one more coming in. This is good. They'll be... Uh, this is mine, too, I think. So they, they should be good defensively. I don't think we can take a super attack. Hopefully we just broke it. <laughs> Hopefully that was the super. If he doesn't supers here, I'm taking credit. Oh, no, he's supering. Please dodge. Yeah, okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, this is good. All right, we're going to attempt to get this guy under 50% uh, HP here. Do we still have the active skill skips off? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. This is a guaranteed crit. Good. God Goku's is also a guaranteed crit. I, I don't know if it'll be enough, though. If it's not, I'll reset the turn. Um, but we, we want to get this guy under 50% HP. Yes! 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 Now activate! Now activate! Yes! Yes! The perfect run. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you guys thought about Gogeta Blue in this showcase. Sorry, it's a little wonky, but I think that ending was worth it. What do you guys think? <laughs> that was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. We're going to have Sin showcases coming out tomorrow, and we'll catch you guys next time. All right. So this is Ultimate and Supreme Fusion LR STR Gogeta. Leader skill is final trump card or fusion category key plus three HP attack and defense 170%. Uh, passive skill is 140% attack and defense at the start of turn key plus four when attacking. This is very good. Um, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack as the first or second attacker in the turn. And as the third attacker in the turn launches an additional super attack with a great chance of evading enemy attacks. So, you know, right here, you have a great chance of launching an additional super attack. Here you do a guaranteed super attack and you have a 70% chance to dodge. So clearly this unit's intention, you get them on your first turn, right, in his base form. You float them off, you get the guaranteed two super attacks and you get the 70% chance to dodge. And they are guaranteed to go blue on their next appearance. Um, right down here, their super attack effects are raises attack. This is an infinite raise right here. Uh, raises defense for one turn uh, and causes colossal damage to the enemy. These are both 30% raises. Uh, this attack stack will make Gogeta Blue do more damage throughout the entire fight. Same thing right here, except it's a greatly raised defense for one turn on the 18 key. This is a 50% buff. This is a 30% buff. So you want to be going for the 18 key if you can. Um, you can get a possibility of two turns with this guy in base form if you wanted. Um, if you got him on like turn one, you could use him on turn one and three before transforming into a blue on turn five. Um, if you wanted, you could theoretically try to milk out some more of these attack stats and make him do a little bit more damage throughout the entire showcase. But I think it's more worth it just to get him into blue as soon as possible. Uh, links down here are Saiyan Warrior Race, Fused Fighter, Prepared for Battle, Over in a Flash, Legendary Power, Fierce Battle, and Kamehameha. This guy has a pretty traditional Saiyan Link set um, for a fusion, you know, Fused Fighter, right? Uh, in or Fused Fighter being like the main non-normal uh, like normal Saiyan Link, because he's a fusion. <laughs> 
Um, categories are Power Beyond Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Fusion, Fuse Fighter, Transformation Boost, Time Limit, Powerful Comeback, Realm of Gods, Superheroes, and Movie Heroes. These are his categories right here. Um, in terms of like whether or not you should really be link leveling this character, I mean, maybe. I mean, he's going to get a lot of stats from it regardless. In terms of him getting like a big defensive change, which I think is the most important thing for links, uh, not really. He does have Fuse Fighter and Prepared for Battle. Um, which are decent and you do want to get those you know activated when you can for just a little bit of an extra defensive boost But it's not like um, units that have all in the family or cold judgment big bad bosses things like that that are going to drastically shift his performance But you will notice it in his attack stats as you can see here. He's getting a ton of attacks from links, so um, He transforms into Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle um, These are his best linking partners in base form himself, which if you're running their team, you... No, you you can't. You can never link him with himself, so I'm not even sure why that's here. Um, the AGL Gogeta Blue, who is not in my showcase, unfortunately. I forgot to bring this guy. Uh, sorry, I4 Gore. <laughs> uh, Tech Vegito. Um, Tech Vegito Blue, right? If you can run these two together, try to do it. Um... <laughs> Whenever they first came out, these two together on a rotation were just like the ultimate shredder. And usually it, like, uh, what happened most of the time is you would get one of them to super attack and they would just KO the boss. And the other one would never get to get built up. And you had to kind of like swap them back and forth in slot one to see like who gets to kill the boss on this turn. Um, a lot of these other units have kind of aged out. We're waiting on their EZA. This guy's good. Um, you know, this guy's pretty good. This guy's good. The nice thing, right, is that all you really care about is uh, prepared for battle. These other links are just kind of whatever, and he's going to share Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power with a lot of units. If you can get over in a Flash active, that's really good too. Um, he's going to share that with a lot of the God Gokus, so. Uh, great unit, great link set. Let's go ahead and switch over to the blue form. Um, evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks for one turn after transforming. This means he will guarantee dodge all attacks unless um, evasion is nullified. Um, so that's going to be your AGL Broly fight, your Int Ice, and then the final phases of some of the legendary events also disable dodge. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn. Key plus 5 launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium. This is a 30% chance of becoming a super attack. An attack's effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Key plus 7 and launches an additional super attack and great chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks as the third attacker in the turn. So, um, if you need to float him, you can, and he's going to work fine as a floater. That's going to allow him to age pretty gracefully. But keep in mind that this dodge chance, this is a, this is kind of a good and bad thing. This dodge chance will not activate until he attacks in the third slot. So, uh, it, it, if you're going up against Sin, for example, and Sin does an AoE in slot 1, this guy will not have this dodge chance until he attacks. However, I actually kind of messed up a little bit in my showcase, but it, it wasn't going to be necessary, right? Because we were just going for the KO screen. Um, you really want to use this guy's active skill in turn 3, because if you use his active skill in turn 3, it'll activate this. And then if you put him in slot 2, like when he actually does a super attack, it'll activate this. So then you can get his full um, attack passive. Like, you'll get, like, all this key. You know, you'll get the two additional chances that have medium percent chances. You'll get the guaranteed additional, right? So if you can use it in slot 3 and the enemy survives, like you're, you're anticipating them surviving, then, you know, use it in slot 3 and then move them into slot 1 or 2. And he'll keep the dodge chance, he'll keep the guaranteed additional, and then he'll also gain the same abilities for being in slot 2. So, uh, definitely recommend, you know, launch this guy's super, or launch this guy's active skill in slot 3 when you can. Um, in my case, in this video, we just, you know, we blew up the enemy with it, so there was no point, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. He gets an additional key plus one up to five and attack and defense plus 22% up to 88% with each attack performed. This is good. This means that even if he's doing his normals, you will still build this up, which is nice because if you're like me, you're going to be doing a lot of normals with this guy. And then he performs guaranteed crits when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So this means, you know, uh, if you, you get the key to 20, I mean, it means exactly what it says. It means he, this guy's guaranteed crits, right, at 24 key, which, uh, you know, this guy has a lot of key in his passive and if you have, you know, over in a flash active, getting this guy to 24 key is not very difficult, as you saw in the showcase. Um, we had, like, one turn where he kind of struggled a little bit right on his first turn, but after that, he was all good. Active skill can be activated when facing one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn. So, uh, turn 6 at the earliest to use this. And then the enemy also has to be under 50% HP. Not the greatest condition in the world, but it's kind of meant to be a finishing move, and th that's how they want you to use it, so... It is what it is. 
Uh, super attack effects. We kind of went over this whenever I did the calcs. Uh, 18 key, he greatly raises defense for three turns. As we talked about, that 50% raise will carry over to the next turn. Um, and then he gets 50% attack and defense for one turn on his 12 key as well. So, well, I guess... Uh, he gets the defense as well, and then he gets he also just gets greatly raised attack. So this guy does a lot of damage. <laughs> you know, he's super effective against all types at bare minimum, and if you get him to 24 keys, he's doing guaranteed crits. So uh, this guy, you know, and he's shooting out what? He was doing like 14 into 12 millions into like an 11 million, right? <laughs> so uh, pretty, pretty good. Links do change to Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Warrior Gods over to Flash Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Uh, the ones that change, I believe, are Prepared for Battle, and let's take a look. We can just look right here. It's prepared for battle, and is it Saiyan Warrior Race? So yeah, Saiyan Warrior Race and prepared for battle change to Super Saiyan and Warrior Gods. So uh, losing prepared for battle does kind of suck. You know, Warrior Gods isn't really the best, like, ever, but, you know, it is what it is. It just gives them more attack. Um, categories stay the same, and linking partners do change a little bit, but for the most part, you're going to be running these guys with like a god goku or something or you know if you can if you want to run them next to lr the other you know fusion do it you know this unit's good so uh that is lr str gogeta blue i know i did a show or i did an outro in the uh in like the ending of the showcase but i figured most of you were going to stop watching there and only a few of you are going to stay around for this show or for this part so if you stayed around for this part i really appreciate you uh, let me know if you liked this at the end in its own separate section or if you want me to go back to doing it at the beginning before we actually hop in, you know, let me know if you have a preference. Depending on what the comments say will depend on how I approach this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We're going to catch you guys next time.